Those rides to and from school were basically parades Celebrating cause we knew we'd make it Those late night sessions in my bedroom out in Brooklyn Started patiently making this foundation And over ten years later, we're both still chasing greatness Shameless when we're making these statements The path was never perfect, but this purpose made it worth it Rob barely fucking take us home You salute to a bitch going on guys back at it another fun day of benching close grip day accessories working on my weaknesses getting stronger you know i say fun a little half-heartedly right you can probably see in all my videos a lot of it is just repetition repetition same thing not a lot of variety you know and i do that for for one reason and one reason alone and like it works you know I go to the gym to put in the work to build some sweat equity to do what I have to do to step on that platform and put out my best performance that's the fun part for me you know coming to the gym training it's what I love to do I enjoy doing it but I'm not going there to to look to celebrate and have a fun day by doing a bunch of you know varieties of exercises or a bunch of things that are meaningless that aren't really going to add to my total you know I'm there to put in the work I'm there to put in the reps I'm there to do what I have to day in and day out you know week after week month after month in order to put the best product on the platform you know I've I've fallen into that trap of, you know, oh, well, yeah, this sounds fun. Let me jump in with this group and, you know, just do what they're doing. And at least I get to train with somebody. And I'd much rather train alone and get a spot than to disrupt my program for a variety of exercises that in, in the grand scheme of things really won't add anything to my total, you know. So I find the exercises that work for me, I hammer down on them, I do what I have to do to get that finished product of a, of a big total and you know that's, that's what's fun for me, that's what I'm about at the gym, that's what I go after. You know if you're, if you're coming to the gym to create a sense of fulfillment and joy and fun in your life then you know find, a, find other hobbies outside of the gym to fulfill that you know I enjoy other things that create happiness in my life other than going to the gym and doing quote-unquote fun exercises you know but that's just kind of my demeanor that's the way I approach a lot of things is I'll, I'll put in the grunt work to become the best in order for me to you know see the light at the end of the tunnel to get that finished product you know, I, I love the process, I enjoy the process, I enjoy what hard work brings, I enjoy what repetition and consistency brings and I know for me, um, being a military guy, being brought up that way, that's going to yield the best results, that's going to yield the greatest benefit and I feel that way in the gym, I feel that way in life, being able to get up and be disciplined enough to do the things that may not necessarily be fun at the time but in a month or two or a year or two it's gonna pay huge dividends so hope you guys get something from that I uh, appreciate you guys always watching till next time see you just finished up second bench day of the week uh, hit a PR 425 for five on close grip so I was pretty happy with that shows that everything's kind of working and going in the right direction for the meet so that's always exciting to hit rep PRs um, not necessarily one rep max PRs but rep PRs going into a, to a meet or in a training cycle that lets you know that something's working and you know typically whenever I hit a PR I'll just call it there I try not to hit two in the same day 
Um, I just feel like once the training program's working really well and you start hitting weights that you're supposed to hit and they're moving good, why push it that day, you know, if you push it too far, then you don't recover, then it messes up the training cycle that you've had. But if you're able to just know that things are getting better and you get that PR that day, then there's no real reason to continue to push it and, you know, completely max out that day. And that way you have nothing to build on week to week. Training is just really building week to week basis on ways to improve and ways to get better. And that's either through doing more volume or higher intensity or different, different exercises. So if you completely max out and you have to do the same thing next week, you don't really leave yourself much room to improve or anywhere else really to go but down. So build week to week and trust in the program and know that it's working for you. And then from there, you know, set your PRs at the meet, you know, hit the big weights at the meet, push it then, don't do it in training. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time.